in the gel press booth. <laughs> so I got with me Cheryl Boglioni. Is that right? Boglioni. Oh, darn it. Every you you keep putting an N in there. Oh, I do. I don't know why. Boglioli. <laughs> Boglioli. See, now I said it right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're in here, and I am actually demoing today, right at this moment, live in the Creativation. Well, yeah, but whatever it is. This thing. The Nancy Creativation. I said yes, it right yes. the first time. I'm just not saying it right now. So I am demoing, and we're playing it with the gel plates from Gel Press, and I've got the 12 by 12. So I'm going to pass the camera over. We're going to flip it, and we're going to do a little whoop de doo and then there we go. So ta-da, I'm on the other side of the camera. This is like amazing. <laughs> All right, nice so, to have somebody else with the camera, right? So nice to have somebody on the camera. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the gel plate, and once you span down, and we're gonna do a little bit of play. Well, the gel plate, the gel plate. We're gel, tired. Gel it's plate. the end of the day. The gel press plate is a mono printing plate, and it's so much fun because we tell everybody that every plate is infused with fun. And you can use almost any medium on them, so it does make a lot of fun to play with. So Erin today is playing with a new product for us. She's playing with paint pens, paint markers. Come closer, come closer. Spin yeah. down. Let's see if all this goodness. So take, do the little gimbal. Yeah, so use a little thing to go. Pan down. There we go. There you go. I have an assistant right now, and I'm very, very grateful to Kamal for helping me do this because I can't do both. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So the great thing about the plates is that it has what. We refer to it as squishability, but technically it's called the durometer. And our plates are made with such the, the perfect durometer so that it'll pick up the finest detail of print. So whether you're using a feather or just string, or you can actually stamp into this, mark into it, add paint, use soft texture combs, add a lot of texture to it. You can build up layers or you can do one print. And it's just a way to play and test out your medium. So that's what we're doing today, playing with a brand new medium to us on these plates. And they are working wonderfully because it is an acrylic paint that is in a marker form. So I was playing with, first of all, I did a bunch of squiggles in the black tube. And that's why you see all the black squiggles. And then I also added some other colors. So just to kind of quickly show you, they're probably gonna get a little bit muddled, but that's how I added all the lines with this really good broad tube. Mm -hmm. And then I've been letting it dry. Now it's not 100%, but it's pretty darn close. So I'm gonna go in with the silver and we're gonna apply it with the broad tip, which is on this side. So I'm gonna, oh, not, I had it wrong. Nope. I had the wrong side, darn it. There we go. So I'm gonna go in with the broad tip and I'm just gonna apply some paint. And I'm not gonna overdo it. So no. this one isn't actually marking on the plate, you're just squeezing it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's yeah. more a paint applicator than a marker in this one. Aspect. But it does, but yeah. But I mean, it can be a marker also. Yeah, because that's okay. how I used it for the broad lines and the fine so black lines. Thin or thick paint. Or just squirt it on. Okay. And now I'm going to layer it up. And where I just it did the new paint because it didn't dry, it's kind of blending, which that's totally But that's cool. going to make a beautiful color. It is totally going to make a beautiful color. So I'm just going through, applying it all over. And now I've got a beautiful color background and I'm just gonna take some normal old copy paper here. It can kind of do that, but that's fine. So normal old copy paper. I'm gonna go smack, which way? Which way should I go? Um, yeah, put a couple pieces on it. Okay. okay. There, should we go? Yeah. I don't know. I'll go this here. This is your project, baby. Totally is. And then we'll do this one here. Yeah. There we go, a little bit of overlap. And then we are going to, I'm going to take my fancy tool here and just roll, rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. It's like making a paper pizza. Kind of. <laughs> and you know what? It's a paper towel, so I don't care if I get paint from the edges because I didn't quite cover it. And that's why, you know, plus I make cool art on paper towels. So I think I got everywhere. And then I, I'm pretty sure I got everywhere. And then here is the big reveal. Wow. So all those really pretty layers that I had, I mean, just look, you can see where I had some of those dots. And this is just the first pull. I can do a second pull off of this and get even more yumminess. So there's a lot of silver on these ones. If you look, there's even more color. So we're gonna, and I reactivate it when I put the silver on there. So we're gonna go kind of like right in here and put this down. I'm just gonna use my hands. You don't have to do the paper towel method. You could even use a clean brayer. This one's dirty, so that's why I'm not doing that. Also, just put more paper next to it, oh. and then you get like little edges. Ah. That you can then use these pieces for your next prints because they've already got a layer of print on them. See, it's just all layers and layers and layers yes. and layers. It's all about the layers. So here's the pull from here. Ooh, just a little I bit like of extra. Mm -hmm. See? Yes. 
Yeah, so next hole. time you could add, you could use that piece to add more too. See, just little corners. And you could purposely do that to keep a border on something because mm -hmm. you wanted to put something in the middle. But here is the main pole again. And you And this look at all those colors. Yeah, and it's got so much left on here that I could do and I could put another coat of another color mm -hmm. and then keep pulling and pulling or leave this and start with a whole new palette and have lots of grungy bits left over. I sky, love grungy bits. Sky is limitless. Okay, expand back up again. And use a little oh. doodad. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for stopping by at the gel press plate or gel press booth, booth with, yeah. the, with the plate. Yeah. Shocking. It's the end of the day. We're all, we're all tired. And playing with our ah, editing markers. These are a ton of fun. They Everything plays really well together and they are so immaculate that they just create lots of fun grunginess and goodness. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, check out Gel Press. You can get them at where? You can get them at gelpress.com. That, that was too fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can also, gelpress.com, you can also watch them over on uh, their Instagram, their Facebook, and they also have a YouTube channel where... Yes. Yours truly goes live here because yes. she does some video right over there. So wait, make sure you go over and check those out. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys again later. Bye-bye.